Aaron Jones has signed a four-year, $48 million contract. He's going to be sticking around for the Green Bay Packers for a very long time. I really didn't think it was going to happen. I know there's been a lot of talk for a long time. I kind of just chalked that up to uh, the, the agent, Drew Rosenhaus, just kind of trying to keep the interest up and you know letting all the competitors know, oh, the Packers really want to keep him, driving up the price and all that. But it, apparently it was very, very real. The Packers wanted him around. Um, and they got it done for an average. I mean, we don't know the details yet, but that's an average of $12 million a year. That's a lot of money. Um, and it's it, listen, he's worth it. He's worth every penny. Let's get the negative perspective out of the way. Obviously, the number one thing, generally you don't pay running backs, right? It's The, the Packers are cash-strapped cash as it is. Um, and we're talking about $12 million for a running back. And the one lingering thing here, let's just put it this way. The best possible scenario is you let Aaron Jones walk, you don't pay him, and A.J. Dillon is the next Derrick Henry. Now, I know you can't predict that out, but uh, we're just talking about what was the best case scenario. With what just happened, there will not be an A.J. Dillon, Derrick Henry thing. It's not going to happen. It can't. You cannot have Aaron Jones be a number two that gets eight carries a game as a third down back or whatever he is and let Derrick Henry run for 20 carries a game if you're paying Aaron Jones $12 million a year. He just got paid number one running back money, meaning A.J. Dillon is not anything better than a number two, like a third down back or whatever he's going to be. So I, I, I don't want to cast a negative shadow on it, but it just it means that 100% all the people that said the A.J. Dillon pick was not great have a lot of ammunition to work with right now because... If you're planning on paying Aaron Jones, what are you drafting? It. What is the urgency here? And well, best player available, out of my face. I'm not upset about it. I just that was not the way I would have gone with it. Um, now that doesn't mean that Aaron Jones is going to be here for four years. Again, we don't know the details of the contract. We don't know to what degree that we're going to be using Aaron and AJ and how that dynamic is going to necessarily work out. And by the way unbelievable combination again I, I just i want to get the negative side of this out of the way i think it's a great thunder and lightning combination and i think you can do all these great things but um again the 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 thing that i think a lot of people myself included are excited about is aj Dillon really becoming this beast of a running back and you get him on a rookie contract and all that's great we cannot have that it can't happen that's gone second round pick for a backup running back is what he is and $12 million for a starting running back. Those are two things you probably shouldn't do that the Packers are doing. Again, not trying to cast a negative light on it, but that's what it is, and that's what leaves a bad taste in my mouth. However, Aaron Jones is more than deserving of this. Drew Rosenhaus came out and said, I believe he could have got, or not, I believe he would have gotten more had he hit the market, but he wanted to stay a Packer, and I believe him. I believe that he would have gotten more money than that. He is worth more money than that. I believe he is a criminally underrated running back if you look at his statistics he is what he's doing is historic his yards per carry um he's like top five in nfl history um don't quote me on that but it, it's it's up there it's it's unbelievable what he's done and and on teams specifically that have never really been very run focused this past year with lafleur was the most run fact focused the packers will be and it'll probably be more so going forward which does add to the validity of this the importance of offensive line and running backs is critically important for Matt LaFleur. It was a little bit in year one, even more so in year two, and I think that'll continue on uh, as a more solid tradition for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, so so having those things is going to be important, but um, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy for Aaron Jones. I love the guy. He's a, a fantastic human being, and um, it's great that he's going to be around. I, I just... I was content with my plan, and I'm, I'm going to be cheering for him just like always and all that, um, but it just it, it makes me worried, and, and again, it just kind of highlights, it kind of creates a ceiling for how good things can be, and it just creates kind of a complication. It's very similar to the Jordan Love thing with Aaron Rodgers where it's like the guy just won MVP, and if we rework his contract, what some people think we're still going to end up doing there's no way for Jordan Love to be a good pick, and that's kind of where I feel like I'm stuck with A.J. Dillon. There's no way to justify what we do with A.J. Dillon, and the guy looks like a stud. And now because of that money, he has to be stuck behind him. I I know I should just be coming out with some hype video, like, yeah, we got all that stuff, but 
it's iffy, you know, and if A.J. Dillon does break out, now what? We put a, a $12 million running back on the bench or, you know, and yeah, you can have two running backs on the field at the same time. And that actually did generate a ton of, of success when those two are on the field at the same time. So, um, listen, Brian Gutekunst is not stupid and, and Matt LaFleur is not stupid and these guys know what they're doing. Um, it, it, it certainly raises some questions and, and, and make no question about, no mistake, the Packers are a better football team um, I just can't get out of my nerdy headspace that that worries about money and and uh, you know what do we do with AJ Dillon and all that stuff. But um, I mean the Packers are a dominant dominant team, uh, arguably the best offense in football last year, and they're doing whatever they can. I mean, listen, one of the the core tenets of being a good GM is when you finally get those guys, when you draft and develop these guys, and you finally get them, you pay them. That's what you do. It's a little bit iffy with running backs, and I didn't think they would. I thought they would stick to a more prudent approach, especially considering they drafted a replacement. But um, you know, it's 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 following that that line of of logic that every team does, but I think especially the Green Bay Packers. When you when you hit on that guy, when you finally get that guy, and when he's contributing, and you've coached him up, and you've taught him up, and you brought him up in your culture, you don't just let him walk out the door. Um, and I think that's the case. And I know some people, well, what about Corey? He got his contract. We're talking about a second. They don't always pay every, it's not, we're talking, we're not talking in perpetuity for all of history, but they're going to at least get that first contract. So um, again, I didn't think that that would happen this time around. I've got my questions and my reservations and my fears, but I'm going to trust that these guys know what they're doing. And they have, a like I've said on the, on this, on my podcast several times before, the Packers know what they're doing. They absolutely know what they're doing. Uh, they have just because I can't see the vision as clearly as they do doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing. They have a plan. They're not just winging it. And um, I'm very excited that uh, Aaron, I, I'm very excited Aaron Jones is back. And I'm I'm sorry that this came off a little negative. I just have some questions, but the guy is a stud. And um, I mean, it's it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> it's gonna, it's good. It, we we got some work to do in other areas, but. Um, I mean, four years of A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones and however long of Aaron Rodgers and Devontae's about to get an extension. And it's like, you know, we got to add a couple pieces here and there, but the core of what makes this team great is going to be around for a long time. And um, I'll, I'm going to try to work through some stuff, tune into the podcast tomorrow as I continue to marinate on this a little bit. But uh, what they've done is secure what made them great in 2020 is continued on for a very long time so anyways my initial thoughts on the aaron jones contract welcome back aaron very happy to have you confused a little bit but we all love you and we're all very happy that you got it and um again tune into the the podcast tomorrow i'll have some more thoughts for you